Welcome to Rebel Chaser. My name is Gail, and I have a video for you from Judge Bronlich in Michigan. He's got a mom who is withholding her child from dad. She will not let dad see his own daughter. And she has got some crazy, crazy allegations that she has per perpetuated year after year, and they've become more and more crazy as time has gone on. She doesn't want dad to see his own daughter. That's the thing. And unfortunately, this little girl is going to suffer because of mom's uh, stubborn selfishness. I'll let you guys watch. For the record, this matter is before the court and the plaintiff father's motion for immediate return of a minor child as well as Plaintiff father's motion to modify custody parenting time. This hearing is being conducted via Zoom. Present is attorney Hassad Hamad, representing uh, the plaintiff father, Edward Kind. Mr. Kind appears to be present with Mr. Hamad. In addition, defendant mother, Shimonade Johnson, appears to be present. Is the child been returned to father, Mr. Hamad? No, Your Honor. All right, um, Ms. Johnson? Um, yes, Your Honor. Well, uh, where's the child at? She is with my daughter while I'm doing this court hearing. Well, and until such time as there's a, a, an order entered by a, the court, uh, if there's a, a, it's week on week off parenting time. You just can't unilaterally change parenting time. If you feel the child's in danger, you call protective services, call law enforcement. But absent that, the child needs to be returned to father. I'm working with Child Protective Services as well as uh, Hope Shores Alliances. They're domestic violence coordination. And uh, there's a lot of uh, going on in the home. I had I was living in the home with the father as well as the child. And the father has been in front of the child towards me, as well as allowing around the child still that are in the court order, previous court orders, to not Rather, be around I, the child. I'm going to object to this testimony as it's not founded. And you... All right, Ms. Johnson, uh, Mr. Walker, for the further court, does your officer receive any reports from protective services? Mr. Oh, you better. The front of the court has not received any recent right. reports. Mr. Ahmad, has your client been contacted by protective services in the last 30 days? No, Your Honor. Their protective services are not involved in this case. This is a repeat of 2022 and 2023. The same type of allegations that Ms. Johnson does all the time. She contacted the FBI last time and said he was a her. This is always the same rhetoric. And back in February, um, this this court heard that Ms. Johnson had to open and that's where um, there was testing that was supposed to be done by Ms. Johnson, that the parties got back together to try to keep the family together and raise this child from February of this year until July. And then July, when they, they had an argument, Ms. Johnson decided to just walk away again, take the child, and he hasn't seen the child for 30 days. And that's not acceptable. Not every time Ms. Johnson decides she wants to get this father from his daughter, she chooses to do so. He's 71 years old, guy works every day, hardworking man, has never done any drugs in his life, and he wanted to keep Ms. Johnson under his purview and his care to make sure that if she was at least she he would she he would have control of that when essence was with him this minor and she's not in a dangerous situation now we don't know where this child is we don't know what he believes that there was a guy she met online that she actually went up north and she stayed with for two two weeks with this minor child I have no idea who this guy is there might be abuse we don't know if she currently is positive for any type of abuse last time she was using in under his house when he reported it so there's a big concern here and again she's using this again now it's but she never called the police they never came out and said and arrested my client for this is all new stuff that now she's going to bring up to this court and it's unacceptable she can't continue to use this court to effectuate her fraud upon this court and keep continuing with these lies it's just unacceptable well, she's not using this court to do that. She's just on her own volition as ignoring court orders, Mr. Ahmad. Ms. I, Johnson, uh, the, the child need, need, needs to be returned to Mr. Kind today. And is there any reason why the child cannot um, be returned to today? 
Ms. Johnson, all of these, you must uh, file court orders. I know you got a motion change custody now set for before the referee tomorrow. Mr. Mott, are you aware there's a referee hearing tomorrow? Your, your Honor, I, I would like that to be adjourned. Uh, the that's reason not before could, this court, it's for the referee. I, I but I figured, oh, that's fine. Mr. Kine, I mean, Mr. Kine, Kine can appear tomorrow at the referee hearing. Mr. Johnson, where's the child at right now? Is the child here in Monroe she's County? In West, no, she's in Westland, Michigan. Okay, well, you're ordered to bring that child down to Monroe, or the, the return child to Mr. Kine at noon today. Right now it's 10 15. So you got a couple of hours. So where are you going to bring the child back to, to Monroe? Where are you going to meet? Your Honor, I would like to have this session adjourned until I can Ms. Johnson, get some would type you of date legal... to review this. But in the meantime, the child's going to be with dad. So what do we need? Two weeks? The child is not safe with her father. And he also has a no occupancy permit listing on his home. The house is not safe there. I need legal help. Your Honor, Ms. Yeah. Johnson, you just lived in that home, did you not? Yeah, and that's why we left the put the order on there. City of Taylor right. has put the order on there on seven nineteen. Okay, Mr. Body, where is there some? Uh, is the municipality uh, uh, vacating Honor, or no? The, the city's coming out for an inspection. The house is in fine mm -hmm. care. There needs to be a renewal of a certificate of occupancy. It's not a condemned home. Actually, it's in very great shape. More than people live normally and she lived there for a long time and she knows that there's no problems with this with this home there so this is, is your bed this is this is, is another bed and bedroom for the child yes absolutely there's right. bedrooms Ms. inside Johnson. a garage the, the bedroom is inside Ms. a Johnson. garage the child Ms. Johnson your order to return the child at noon today to Mr. Kind you understand that the only question is yes. where are we going to meet your honor we because he is currently here in Dearborn Michigan she doesn't need to drive to Monroe if the child's in Westland mm -hmm. They can meet at the Dearborn Heights Police Station and they can exchange the child at the Dearborn Heights Police Station inside. So this way there's no issues. And Ms. Johnson, will that work? I would like to state Did, something for the record. We'll give you a date please. for review. We can come back in a couple weeks. You can come back with an attorney. But Ms. Johnson, can you meet at the a Dearborn Heights Police Department today? A false ex parte order to get today. custody is criminal. Ms. Johnson, is it okay yes. to meet at the Dearborn Heights Police Department today? I would like to say one thing for the record. A false ex parte order to get custody is criminal and criminal complaints on the judge who violates the law can also be in place. Okay, your comments so noted on the record, Ms. Johnson. And where do you Thank want to you. meet today at noon? Is that okay? It probably makes the most sense to meet at a police station. Ms. Johnson? I guess wherever Mr. Kine would like to meet, since it's okay. not in the best interest of my child, it's in the best interest of Mr. Kine and what allegations he has made to the courts. I would like to do a drug test to prove that I'm not on drugs. I would like you to please order a hair test so I can prove that there's been no drugs. I would like you to send somebody out to his home to see that this is in the perfect condition that they say that it is in. Your Honor, I have been there. I've been through it. Mr. Kine is a good man. He is a me in front of my child there's no, right. is, that's why we're not going like to be contact help. we're not going to be contacted meet at the police department meet at the police department so the uh we're going to put this over for a couple weeks you come back with an attorney and you're offering Just to take one a drug more test, thing Johnson, Honor, is that correct? To interrupt. miss johnson are you offering to take and, a drug test? Uh, how are we to know that he's going to stop putting in the home with my child mr ahmad with whom does mr kind reside nobody this is the same okay. stuff she said in 23 and 22, and it's not acceptable. No, that's not true. Okay, Ms. Johnson. That's not true. Ms. Johnson, are you offering to take a Yes, I am, Your Honor. All right, court will order. We're going to put zero for a couple of weeks. When the court's going to order that Ms. Johnson return the child to Mr. Kind today at 12 noon at the Dearborn Heights Police Department. Do you know where that's located, Ms. Johnson? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Okay, so you meet there, and uh, the child will remain with Mr. Um, Mr. Kind, till we come back, uh, the child has been, um, the father's been denied the child since July 15th. Is that correct, Mr. Ahmad? July 9th, that's There's correct. There's an active test case that so is pro prohibiting right. me from returning the child to the, the father. That's not true. That's completely false. Yes, Ms. Johnson, Ms. Johnson, the culture made decision, we're going to set this in order. We're going to put a review date in a couple weeks. Do you need a two weeks in which to get the test done? A hair follicle? I can do it right now today. Okay, good. 
Do you need some time? Do you want to talk with an attorney, correct? I do need to talk with an attorney, but I do not think that it is in the best interest of the child to be returned to her father while there's that is on the property and there's numerous drug activities and criminal activities that are going on in his property mr hamadi could say that it's untrue all he wants but he's not there he did not live there with the child the child is in there with her father so mr hamadi any objection to the court ordering that no other uh, uh, parties can reside in that home till we come back and yeah does anybody reside in no yeah that's fine your honor all right so the court will address on uh, miss johnson again the order is that you return the child to Mr. Kind today at 12 noon at the Dearborn Heights Police Department. Uh, Mr. Uh, kind will have possession of the child until we come back to court in a couple weeks, which will give you a date and a mile. Ms. Johnson, you're to uh, submit to a hair follicle test and provide the results uh, to the court and to Mr. Ahmad when we come back, before we come back. And finally, the court will order that Mr. Kind to not allow any other uh, any other person to reside in the home until we come back, determine who's also living in the home. So once again, and you're going to place a child, a August 21st child, at nine. Just a minute, Miss Kind, Miss Johnson, Mr. Amadi. You're available. placing a child, a three-year-old little girl, with their family of of known August, children, you to children in the family. Yes, Your Honor. Is that in person or uh, on Zoom? In, uh, because I Zoom. Okay, Ms. that Johnson, works. Um, I'll be there. Um, August 21st at nine. August, the course review is August 21st. What time again? 9:45 a.m. That's fine. So, Ms. Johnson, make so sure the front court has a valid address. Once again, Your Honor. You again, Your Honor. Order. All your objections are noted, Ms. Johnson. Make sure the front of the court, when you're, you're in the courthouse today, go down to the front of the court, make sure they have Mr. Walker as your, your correct mailing address. So, a copy of this order is mailed to you. Got it? You, you have be my here August 21st at 945 a.m. Your, your Honor, I yeah. also want to address the, if she's requesting an attorney and this court knows that there's a referee to hearing tomorrow, it doesn't make sense that there's a hearing tomorrow when she's requesting an attorney. It doesn't well, make a, no. She I filed would the like motion pro per, Mr. Mod. So right. the uh, referee in, may, in fact, put it over to. Uh, um, do you want to put everything over, Miss Johnson? Do you want to put your motion over before this court on August twenty first at nine forty five? I would like to carry on with tomorrow being the day. I'm I'm ready to go forward with this. All right, and, All right. Um, the, the referee, well, the referee most referee, likely, you... Mr. Mod, will adjourn the matter to this court's docket August twenty first, but we'll see. She wants to keep it on, and that's her motion in pro per. So uh, maybe Mr. Kind can appear. And, okay, uh, are, are those uh, are those choose not to appear and just inform the the uh, referee? The court ordered that the mother return the child to the uh, father today at twelve noon. Hopefully that's happened. Miss Johnson, you need to comply with this court's order. It's very critical. So follow this court's yes, order. Yes, Your sure Honor, the and I Mr. think Kine that you should comply with the safety the of the well-being of the child. The best interest of the Never child is what your that is what you're supposed to be taking into consideration as a judge. That's your job. You're not doing that with attorney. my little girl. I'm back to the attorney on August 21st, Ms. Johnson. No one has received any CPS reports. As well as in the home that live there. Walker, any questions about the uh, language of the order? No, Your Honor, I believe I have it. All right, that will conclude this hearing. You can all zoom out and do comply with this court's order, Ms. Johnson. The court does not want to hold you in contempt of court. And then, of course, that is uh, the, the consequence if you fail to return um, that child at noon today. Your Honor, I okay. would also just indicate to Ms. Johnson that that's inside of the Dearborn Heights Police Department. This way, there's no safety concern to either party inside of the police department. The okay. safety Thanks concerns then, are to my child in the home with Mr. Kind and his under son Edward Clickard, who is a 13 right. year Ms. Johnson, Ms. Johnson, who is Ms. Johnson, he's a Johnson, of Johnson, your honor, that's where you're sending ordered. my little girl. Okay, mute Ms. Ms. Johnson. Ms. Johnson, if you listen to the court, the court has ordered that there be no other persons living at home between now and we come back. It would just be your daughter, it would be Essence and Mr. Kine. That's it. And just okay, for that the record, Mr. Hearing, Mr. Mr. Mod, we'll see you back Mr. on August 21st at 945. You. Thank you, your honor. What really struck me was she said the daughter is three and the dad is 71. Well, that's not a lot of time left for dad. He doesn't have a lot of time left to get to know his daughter and his daughter to get to know him. In 10 years, he'll be 81. In 15, he'll be 86 and she'll be 18. So that is probably about as much time as they're going to get. 
So the mom, it, she's thinking she's keeping the daughter away from the dad to for retribution or, you know, to pay back dad. In reality, she's stealing that time away from her daughter. That is egregious. What she's doing to the daughter is egregious. Anyway, she called the FBI for the reason she called the FBI it sounds kind of ridiculous to me. I mean, that man is not doing that. And if he was, she lived with him, she would see it. And if she saw it, why didn't she report it immediately and get out of there? Why did she wait until they got in a, a fight and she moved out? She wants to pay him back. And that's when she calls. So that's kind of ridiculous. Anyway. She needs help. She needs psychological help, in my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.